the hell is it now? What what is that shame? Remote? Huh. I have a feeling that there's a little bit of something more going on with that you're like the blonde woman with the finger and the shoulder. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echo what is going on here? What kind of uh, three-way runway is this? <laughs> I mean, that's mild that she gives the she keeps on giving the presenter whenever she say she says that she has she's realizing her dream and so on, so on. It's a little bit confusing. It's somewhere between uh, like gratitude for a mentor and uh, uh, like gratitude for a romantic partner that has been supporting her, and also the silence in the audience makes everything so much easier to notice which to me it it is perfect because it is perfectly complemented by the angelic voice behind the, the actress that is performing the act here take my hand will you share this with me starting without you Ooh, I like I like how he he tends to grab her hand there, especially synchronized with that lyric, like hold my hand and so on. I, I also uh, I've seen that their their love is somewhat impossible because of society standards and so on. Uh, from my reaction to the rewrite star scene, if you haven't watched it, it's, I'm going to link it down below in the description. Uh, but the thing the thing the main two things that I want to to say to you is basically one. Do not care about what society thinks when you are uh, fighting for someone, when you are, when you are going uh, to uh, like go uh, date some someone, because that person is the one that you want to bring into your life. You don't have have you don't want to bring a society. A society will all, always just bark and bark and bark and just talk and talk and scrutinize every little thing that you do, no matter what you do. You can be married to the Queen of England. You're, you're still going to be scrutinized by society in some type of way. And the second one is also to uh, notice that sometimes hand holding takes courage. So if you feel that your partner is not, and that is goes for everything. So if you feel that your partner is not uh, like taking action as you'd want him to, you might need to communicate things a little bit. You might need to set your expectations and tell him look i want you to do this i want you to do this i want you to do this i like these things i don't like this i don't like that and so on and if that uh, if your partner is going to be your right partner of course he's going he or she is going to listen and is going to adjust his or her um, um way of thinking and of doing things all the shine, the thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough, never be enough. Time to go, still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it'll never be enough. I love how they synchronized the, those lyrics, Towers of Gold are still too little, this hands could hold the world but it will never be enough, with the fact that they are actually holding hands and I love it that they hold, held hands after all uh, in front of society and they have, they do not care so much at least or they're starting to loosen up. Uh, and also this lyrics could be interpreted in some other way and that is that you um when realizing your dreams uh you should not settle only 
you should not settle for less basically if you want to do something you can do that thing no matter what if you want to do it you will do it at some point either uh, either earlier or later in life but you can do it you have the power to do it and only you have the power not society not what uh, your parents will tell you or not what uh, your uh, family will tell you and so on and so forth you if you if you know if you truly think that you can you can do something you can do it because not only you have the power to learn things if you don't do not know them but also you have the power to overcome every obstacle because you must believe in yourself in order to achieve your dreams as i want to as i like to say usually warriors are born from ashes so basically even if you have nothing at the moment you must never give up give up on your dreams on your life and uh, always go on and push through hell to the now what what is that shame remorse of course society is going to gossip of course they are going to be hardships when you are dating someone this not going to be always holding hands and to like buying flowers and eating chocolates together and sip from the same drink and so on and be all lovey-dovey and romantic of course it's going they're going to be hurdles that you have to overcome together as a united couple that is how you that is how a relationship is built well no no you don't deserve her then simply uh and i also have not seen the movie but in reality being ashamed to be seen with your partner either because of because of society standards because of beauty because of uh, beauty reasons like scars like weight like anything that is unacceptable in my opinion you should not be ashamed with your partner even if that person lost uh, lost weight or gained weight or had some uh, had some things done to themselves or anything like that you should not never never be ashamed of your partner it's as easy as that <laughs> God, those vocals are simply awesome and not only that but also, also get uh, some easter eggs about uh, the movie plot in here and i have a feeling that there's a little bit of something more going on with the trio like the blonde woman with the singer and the showrunner and i so I, I suppose i don't know yet because i have not seen the movie i do plan on reacting to it so please subscribe to my channel if you like my reactions because you will also get notified about my future reactions as well Overall, I would give it a 9 out of 10 simply because to me it seemed that there was a little bit of a focus of, for those that never if, uh, never enough uh, 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 lyric, uh, as I like the lyrics to be switched up a little, but in any case, like vocally and the vocal technique and acting and delivering some emotion, I would give it a 10 out of 10. So I hope that you liked my reaction and if you do the 
if you did a boop a like down below and also uh, comment down below your favorite moment in the Never Enough performance. See ya!